First up, we've got the Hanes Men's Eco Smart Fleece Sweatshirt. This one retails for about $20. This one was my least favorite of them all. Um, the fabric was pretty scratchy and it was a snug fit and the fabric was really thin as well. It didn't seem like very high quality. Next up, we've got the Hanes Men's Comfort Wash and this was um, regularly $18, marked down to about $14 at the time when I bought it. Just like the other Hanes, it felt pretty low quality and the fabric was sort of like piling in areas and it was loose all around. Um, wasn't a fan of the color either. Next we've got the Russell Athletic Men's Dry Powder Fleece Sweatshirt and this was about $18 at the time when I bought it. Overall the style is pretty snug through the shoulders, um, but just like the other two, the uh, fabric's pretty scratchy and felt pretty low quality, so again wouldn't be recommending this one. Next we've got the Sophie Men's Training Fleece Crew Sweatshirt and this was about $20 on Amazon at the time I bought it. The fit through the body of the sweatshirt was pretty standard, but the sleeves on it were quite tight and I've got pretty small wrists. The fabric on this one, like the others, was uh, scratchy and felt generally low quality. This one here is the South Pole Men's Active Crew Neck Fleece Sweatshirt and it was about $15 at the time I bought it. I really like this one. I wasn't expecting to. The fabric on this one is 100% polyester, so it was really soft unlike the others. Um, and almost a bit spongy, which was actually surprisingly nice. But because that fabric isn't very dense, I probably wouldn't be wearing this outside on really cold days. It's probably best for uh, lounging around the house. Next we've got the Champion Men's Original Suede Fleece Sweatshirt. And this was about $23 on Amazon when I bought it, marked down from $35. This one's a solid sweatshirt. Uh, pretty good fit all throughout and super soft. Um, outside and inside. The website says it has a suede finish on the outside. I'm not sure what that means. It felt like a pretty standard cotton or polyester like the other sweatshirts. The colors on the Amazon website are pretty limited, which is why I got the darker charcoal color. They didn't have like an ash lighter gray. Um, that's the only downside I'd say for this one. Next up we've got the Carhartt Men's Midweight Crew Neck Sweatshirt and this one was $34 on Amazon. The fit on this one was extra roomy, almost on the baggy side, but um, it, was, it was probably the warmest of them all because the fabric was really thick, but it felt high quality and well made. And finally, we've got the Champion Life Men's Reverse Weave Sweatshirt. This one was $41 at the time I bought it, and out of all of them, it's my favorite sweatshirt. I just thought the quality on this one was really nice, and the fit was great as well. The fit's definitely on the roomier side, but that's what I'm going for. To me, it really just feels and looks like a classic uh, sweatshirt. Another thing that stood out for me compared to the others is really the fit of the, um, the neck, the sleeves, and the bottom waistband. These were all snug, but they weren't too tight. 